Oh, that's a whole lot. I'm not gonna take all that. Okay, so you have Knight of Pentacles and then Ace of Wands. So this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future, so you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Knight of Pentacles, it talks about like slow movement, doing something slow. Ace of Wands is here. So some, or this could be distractions. Somebody could be, be could be being distracted from a new beginning, Ace of Wands, or from starting over. Yeah, Seven of Swords is here. Page of Cups and Five of Pentacles is here. So yeah, somebody could be like slow doing something. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Seven of Swords, Page of Cups, Five of Pentacles, and Two of Wands is here. Wow. So this talks about being at a stem and whoever this person is, they're trying to figure out how can they apologize to you or something like that. They're trying to strategize how can they apologize to you. Five of Pentacles, this person could feel left out in the cold or they wanted you to feel left out in the cold. Yeah, this person could have ghosted you. They wanted you to feel left out in the cold or something like that or you would be at a stalemate not knowing which direction to take. Two of Wands is here. Yeah, Knight of Cups is here. Yeah, this person do not know how to connect with you. This person is trying to strategize how can they apologize to you. They feel left out in the cold and they're at a stalemate. They don't know which direction to take and they want to connect with you. Knight of Cups. Yeah, Ace of Cups, Four of Cups, and Queen of Wands is here. So what I'm getting is that you're someone that's in this Queen of Wands energy, very intuitive. Yeah. You're someone that is uh, very attractive. You're attracting a lot of attention. This person feels insecure about that. You're someone that also loves yourself. Ace of Cups. You take care of yourself. Knight of Swords is here. And Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so this person, it's like this person wants to come towards you. They don't know how. You're in this Queen of Wands energy, very intuitive. You're attracting a lot of attention. You're someone that has confidence. You're a leader. And that makes this person feel insecure. You're someone that loves yourself. This person could have been accustomed to being around people that are, um, Insecure, insecure people that are not confident people that have low self-esteem people that are not you know passionate to go towards whatever it is they want out of life you could have went through a lot and um you took action towards whatever it is you wanted out of life whatever this person did they could have thought they were going to slow you down or something like that or have you at a stalemate two of wands is here but it didn't work this person was left at a stalemate and they, they feel left out in the cold. As all of these knights are out here, this person could have been in a very immature energy. Yeah, but they want to start over with you. Temperance is here. They want to balance the situation out. And you're someone that's very grounded. You're someone that's very uh, balanced out. You can balance out masculine and feminine energy. Very peaceful. Very tempered. You have... You have your ancestors protecting you, guiding you. Yeah, the judgment is here. This person could be receiving karma for whatever they did to you. However, this person wanted you to feel they could be in that energy. 
whatever they did to you, it could have happened to them as well. It's like, this is karma. Whatever you do, it come back on you. Good or bad. Yeah, something backfired. Seven of Wands is here. Yeah, because this person was someone that's very immature. Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, and Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, and then the world is here. Something backfired. You had completed a cycle, and that cycle has ended. This person could have been literally going through judgment because they were in a toxic cycle that needed to be completed. Yeah, and they were very immature. Yeah, the unknown card is here. This is somebody that possibly didn't want you to know. Or they didn't know that you had completed a cycle. And they that's why they everything backfired. And they're under, like, judgment. The strength card is here. And then the death card is here. Yeah. It's like you went through this transformation. You're someone that's very strong. You went through a lot. The strength card and the death card is here. Yeah. And it's like whatever you go through, it makes you grow. It makes you move forward. This is somebody that didn't know you. They don't know you. The unknown card is here. Yeah, they didn't know that you were this person, this uh this person that's very strong because they they Yeah, this person don't know you. And um with the strength card being here and the death card being here, they they figured that since you were in this energy of, you know, being very strong, you were, you know, doing stuff by yourself or something like that. This person that's on the strength card, they're by themselves. You went through a lot by yourself. And this person looked at it as you're someone that changed. You went through a transformation. But it's like whatever you go through, you move forward. The strength card is here. It makes you grow. It builds you up. You hadn't already went through a lot, but this person did not know. The unknown card is here. Because this person don't know you. Yeah, the lovers is here. This is someone you have a deep connection with spiritually, but not physically. Yeah, and that's the truth, Ace of Swords. Clarity. So it's like this person do not know you physically, but spiritually... Yeah, you and this person have a deep connection. So if this person was not spiritually woke, they don't, it's like they don't know you. Yeah, so it's like being connected with somebody spiritually, but the physical bodies are distant in the physical realm. Yeah, to a sword here, this person had been blinded from the truth. Yeah. You could have knew that about this divine connection or something like that. Ace of Swords and then the lovers is here. And this person was blinded from the truth. Yeah, Ten of Cups is here. <clears throat> they could have been blinded from the truth by a different family. Different people that they were close to. Three of Cups is here. And then Four of Pentacles is here. Yeah, these are people that were trying to hold on to this person. Family and friends. Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. I mean, Ten of Cups. Um, they had this person at the Two of Swords and decisive, not being able to make a proper decision. And these are karmics that they were attached to and they needed to complete a cycle out with. I'm so done. Yeah, these are people that they needed to hold back from. Queen of Cups is here. And then Two of Pentacles is here. Yeah. And then Six of Cups. So it's like these are people that wanted this person to choose. Two of Pentacles is like going back and forth. They could have wanted this person to choose them over you or something like that in the past. Because they could have knew this person wanted to connect with you. They were secretly admiring you. This person is attracted to you. Y'all have a deep connection spiritually but not physically. And these are people that wanted to blind this person from the truth. They could have knew about this divine connection that you have, you and this person have a deep connection spiritually. And they were envious of that. They were trying to create blockages for this person. Yeah. Six of Cups is here. 
These are people that they haven't been around their entire life. They don't know you in this physical realm, but spiritually, you and this person have a deep connection. The lovers and ace of swords. So yeah, they figure that they can hold on to this person because they've been holding on to this person or they've been knowing this person their whole, you know, this person have been knowing these people most of their life. And that's why they were trying to stay attached to this person. But this person is here because they have a spiritual purpose. They're having a human experience. Yeah, so they can spiritually grow. As this person is not spiritually woke and they were blinded from the truth at the Two of Swords, they were holding on to something that um, was getting in the way of this connection. Your, this spiritual connection, this divine connection. Yeah, justice is here. And that was keeping that person blocked off from you. Seven of Wands is here and from completing this cycle out. They didn't want this person to complete a cycle out. And a lot of stuff backfired onto this person as they were still holding on to these people. Family and friends. I'm so done. Yeah, Six of Pentacles is here. Balance, equal give and take. Yeah, it's like they knew that you and this person, you and this person were equal. They knew that y'all had a spiritual connection, but they were trying to keep you and this person apart physically. To try to hold on to this person because they don't have a spiritual connection with this person. They just have a physical connection with this person, an illusion and a confusion. Yeah, that's it. Eight of Pentacles is here. And then Eight of Wands. It's like this person wants to come towards you and work with you. Yeah. And it's like they were being blocked off by a lot of people that were sitting back trying to judge you because you're someone that's very spiritual. You're spiritually awake in this physical realm. Now they were trying to keep this person at the two of swords blinded from the truth so they wouldn't get woke and they'd be able to hold on to this person. How they were sitting back judging you as everything was backfiring onto them. And this person. It's like they literally wanted this person to choose them over you. And they knew that you and this person had a, a divine connection, a purpose, and a destiny. And they're not even attached to that. Because they're not attached to, the, to these people in the spiritual realm at all. Yeah, they don't have a connection with these people that they're attached to in this physical realm. That's why they were trying to hold on to this person physically. To drain this person's energy. Four of Pentacles is here. Yeah, the hangman is here. It's like they wanted this person to be stuck. Yeah. It's like this person needed to get enlightened. They could have felt stuck. Because they needed to release whoever these people were that were trying to keep them at the two of swords blinded from the truth. They knew about this divine connection. They didn't want that person to get woke. They didn't want that person to see properly. I'm so dumb. Yeah, two of cups is here. They knew that you and this person was supposed to work together, partner up, exchange cups with each other, different stuff like that. They knew that you were this person's two of cups. Yeah, this person would have victory and success. Six of wands is here. <laughs> I'm so good. I'm not even going to say what I'm thinking. Oh, man. King of wands is here. Yeah, they knew this person would be someone that would be standing up leading their own life. And they would be spiritual. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. In this physical reality. As you and this person are already connected in the spiritual realm. They didn't want it to manifest physically because they're not connected to that person in the, physical, in the spiritual realm. Just this physical realm. And that was a cycle that needed to be completed out before this person could move forward and get this Ace of Pentacles. And start over and have a new uh, beginning. I'm so done. It's like they could have literally found out they weren't connected to this person spiritually. So they were trying to keep their self attached to them physically. And they didn't want this person to connect with you because they knew y'all had a deep connection spiritually. Yeah, the chariot is here. Wow. And then the moon card is here. <laughs> yeah, this is sad. I'm so done. It's like, it does not... Whoever this person is, this is sad. This is just sad. 
because they're attached to people that are very low. They're very insecure. They're very needy, codependent, clingy, controlling. And it's because they don't want to let go of this person. Yeah, physically, because they don't have a connection spiritually. It's like once this person gets spiritually woke, they don't have anything in common with those people. And they know this person is on the chariot. Moving forward. Yeah, by their self. High Priestess and then the Moon card is here. Yeah, it's like these are people that possibly were literally playing with spell work over this person to keep them attached to them. Yeah, the Emperor is here. <laughs> And then King of Cups is here. Five of Wands. They were sick, secretly sitting back competing with this person. They knew this person was someone that was very intuitive. They knew this person was someone that was a divine being. They knew this person was someone that would be successful. It's like they wanted this person's gifts. They wanted to, they, they're used to dreaming this person. I'm so done. And they're jealous of this person. They're jealous that this person is in love with you. You could be in love with this person and they're envious of that. Yeah, King of Swords is here. And then Tower is here. Yeah. It's like they're going to be having a Tower moment. It's a Tower moment that's getting ready to happen and they don't even see it. King of Swords and Tower. Yeah, then the Empress is here. Five of Swords and then, yeah, they're, 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 these are people that have been defeated. The Sun card is here and then um, Five of Swords is here. They're, they're envious and jealous because this person is seeing you for who you are. The Empress and then uh, the Sun card is here. They're seeing things for what it is. These are people that were envious and jealous of this connection. Yeah, these are people that literally do not care about this person. They just was used to controlling this person. In a negative way. Yeah, the magician is here. And Ten of Swords is here. Yeah, they backstab this person. This person feel betrayed. They feel backstab and it's like this happened multiple times. Nine of Swords is here. It's like these are people that are stressed out because you are in this musician energy. These are people that thought that they pinched you down for harsh, painful endings. Now they're sitting back stressed out Nine of Swords as they're getting exposed left and right. Dark Knight of the Soul. Yeah, it's like a mental prison in their head. They can't sleep. They can't believe it. They can't believe that this person is seeing stuff for what it is. They can't believe this person found out about this spiritual connection. After they did everything to try to pin you down secretly, including playing with spell work. Yeah, these are people that are very toxic. Yeah. And then Queen of Swords is here. Four of Wands is here. Yeah, somebody needed to cut whoever this Queen of Swords energy is off that's very toxic before even coming in union with you. And they're in regret. Five of Cups. Whoever this person is, when they cut this person off, they're getting ready to have a tower moment. Because they, they do stuff over and over again. And that person is sitting back nervous. It's like they're on their last straw and they don't know this. Yeah, it's like this person is just going to abruptly cut this this uh, person off and they don't know this. They're going to be left in regret. Yeah, I'm just going to say this could be a mother or something. I don't know why I was thinking that and Queen of Pentacles popped out. This could be a mother as this person popped out at the Knight of Pentacles and came out as all of this immature energy. Whoever their mother is, they're someone that's very toxic. They're the devil. This person is bonded and blinded to a lot of bad karmic debt and they're karmic to this person and they didn't know. Yeah, Page of Wands is here. Six of Swords. 
Knight of Wands, and then the Wheel of Fortune is here. It's like this person is run. It's like this person feel like they just gotta run. Six of Swords, Knight of Wands, and then the Wheel of Fortune. This is all this person is thinking about is just getting away from whoever this narciss narcissistic type of person is. This is like a mother figure. Whoever this energy is. Yeah. This person walk in hatred. Three of Wands is here. And then King of Pentacles is here. It's like this person have already made some type of decision. King of Pentacles and Three of Wands. They want to communicate with you, Queen of Pentacles. It's like they've already made a final decision. Yeah, they want to build their Ten of Pentacles. So it's like these are, this could be someone or people that, you know, normally thought they had some type of control over this person's life. This person could have been very immature, but now this person is standing up in this King of Pentacles energy. Yeah. And they don't even know this. Yeah, this person needed to heal. The star card is here. It's like as long as they were trying to keep their self attached to this person, they don't know that this person is someone that's protected. Whatever they were doing to this person and they didn't want this person to know, they were just getting, you know, issued out karma. They were just receiving karma. And that person was feel, you know, feeling blockages or feeling blocked off as they were attached to these people. And it make this person just want to run six of swords, nine of ones and not even be around these people like physically anymore. They just want to ghost these people. And that's sad. This is sad. Yeah, Hermit Mode is here. They want to go somewhere where they don't even know people. Yeah, nine a cup just in order to be happy. This is sad. It's like people is, are is in this person business that bad. And they wanted this person to be stuck. Eight of swords is here and then four of swords. I, in isolation, feeling le left alone or something like that. This person could have literally got wrapped up in something. And um, as they were playing with spell work, they could have played some type of binding magic over that person. And they didn't know. They didn't think their family would do anything like that behind the scenes. Three of Pentacles is here. They wanted this person to be binded to them and isolated away from you. So this person could have got wrapped up in some type of situation in this physical realm. And they were at the Four of Swords in isolation and solitude. They probably was on house arrest or something like that. And they, they were feeling alone. But this person needed to heal. They needed to cleanse their self, lay different situations to rest because they were feeling stuck. I'm so done. Like, this is sad. Seven of Pentacles is here and then the Fool card is here. This person realized they needed to invest in their self and go towards a whole nother direction. Yeah, Page of Swords and then Nine of Pentacles is here. This person has been watching you and they see you in this nine of pentacles energy and this person wants to, um, yeah, they could have found out some new information or they were researching. Yeah, they could have stopped researching these people and they were heartbroken, three of swords, when they found out these people were toxic, these people were karmics to them. That's why they were feeling stuck. They could have found out that these people were playing with spell work over them. Yeah, they were depressed. Whatever they did, if they wanted you to feel left out in the cold or they were projecting all of this energy that was negative that, that they were around off onto you, they were heartbroken over whatever decisions they made. Yeah. And they were no longer confused. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Eight of Cups. It's like they walked away from a confused mindset. They had no choice. I'm so done. The hair fine is here. Three of Pentacles is here and Ten of Wands. These are people that just weighed this person down to want to commit, be in a commitment with you, collaborate with you. Yeah, they just weigh, they're pressuring this person. Especially if these people are, uh, you know, wanted this person to look at you in a negative way because they knew y'all had a spiritual connection, but y'all weren't attached physically. So they were trying to make sure y'all stayed isolated and this person won't detach from them physically. Whatever happens in the, in the spiritual realm, it manifests in this physical realm. And they, they can't 
It's like they didn't know this or they didn't know that they never had control over this connection. Yeah, these people are sad, sick, and sorry. And they didn't want this person to know. Yeah, it's like this person is not confused. This person had to walk away from a confused mindset and they don't even want to be around these people anymore because of the energy that they walk in. And this is the energy that they wanted this person to project onto you. This is sad. All because they don't have a spiritual connection with that person. You and this person have a purpose together. These are people that were placed around this person to teach them lessons. And that's it. I'm so done. You just will least expect. This sad. This, this person is around a lot of people that are um, like narcissistic. They're very manipulative, play mind games and trickery, and they're, they're secretly hating, jealous, envious, obsessed with trying to have control of other people's life, and they don't even control their own life. Yeah, they want this person to feel stuck. Yeah, they're suffering in silence. They could be suffering in silence because they didn't know this person had to got woke. Bystanders here, as this person was watching you, this helped this person gain their strength, their courage. As these people thought they would have this person, like at the Three of Swords, depressed, heartbroken, keep playing it on this person to keep them low. And these are people that this person grew up with. I'm so done. With, ooh. Karmic justice is here and then facing jail time is here. Somebody is facing jail time and this is karmic justice for whatever they did. Because they got dirt down and dirty behind the scenes. Yeah, you're someone that's protected and that's why you receive good karma. No matter what they try to do behind the scenes to try to keep this person away from you, isolated away from you because they knew y'all had a connection spiritually so they wanted to keep them blinded from the truth. This person would never get woke spiritually in this physical realm. And they thought this was a... Uh, if they thought it was sweet. Capricorn is here. You could be a Capricorn. One of these people could be a Capricorn. You're someone that love yourself. Yeah, you're someone that's celibate. And then somebody does not want to work. They could be attached to a lot of people that, you know, don't want to work or they're accustomed to that. Yeah, somebody, whoever this is that don't want to work, they're spying. This is somebody that was watching you too. Yeah, and a cycle, they hadn't completed a cycle with that person. That cycle has been completed. This also could be someone that you was attached to. They didn't want to work and that cycle had been completed and they're spying. Take it where it resonates. Equal give and take is here. Yeah, exposure is here. So it's like whatever, the, whatever after this cycle had been completed, these are people that were receiving their karma. You were receiving good karma. You're protected. Equal give and take is here. Exposure. So different people that were doing stuff behind the scenes, they got exposed. They were getting exposed and they didn't know. Yeah, confidence is here. You're someone that's very confident. And then Pisces is here. You could be a Pisces. One of these people could be a Pisces. Yeah, Sneaky is here. And then Under Investigation. And then Growth is here. So somebody that was being very sneaky could be multiple people. They were under investigation and they didn't know. They were just watching you grow and they were keeping their self way down. Yeah, with burdens. With a lot of stuff in their face that they cannot see and a lot of stuff on their back that they cannot weigh. It's like... Why would these people be so worried about you? And this person, you know, they didn't think that this person would be sitting back, you know, put two and two together. They would just be blinded from the truth. These are people that knew about this divine connection <laughs> and they didn't want it to manifest physically. They knew you and this person were, were spiritually connected like twins, but they wanted to keep this hidden. Yeah, researching is here. This person has been researching and these people are stressing because they were trying to block this person's blessings. Yeah, but they had to gain clarity. 
And they don't even know that this person had a gained clarity. Yeah, they're having sleepless nights. They're stuck in their heads. <laughs> It's like if these are people that are at the dinosaur that have sleep this night, they don't know it's because they got exposed. This person is seeing stuff for what it is and they're finding out the truth behind the scenes as they were behind the scenes doing a lot of stuff that was hidden. I'm so done. I just can't. Yeah. This person found out these people had hidden motives and they were jealous of this person's true love. True love and jealousy is here. This is what this part. this is what uh, this person found out behind the scenes. These people are jealous of you because you're this person's true love. I'm just so no. <laughs> yeah, jealous family members. There's a whole bunch of family members that were jealous, envious. Yeah, because you're someone that's on the right path. Yeah, lessons learned. Envious here. They envy you because you're a role model. Yeah, this person realized they were learning lessons. You had already learned lessons. You could have been in and out of cycle. You could have gotten woke first. And your twin was like right behind you. They were blinded from the truth and they were attached to friends, family, different night of wands, energies, a whole bunch of people that were trying to keep this person in a toxic cycle and they were learning lessons. Yeah, while they were in separation from you. They were attached to people that were gold diggers. Yeah, you've healed. It's like you healed first. You got woke first. You're someone that's happy. Happiness is here. Influencer. You're an influencer. Confusion is here. They wanted to cause some type of confusion and then betrayal. Because they wanted they wanted to betray this person. They knew that you and this person would be reconnecting. Because y'all have a spiritual connection. These are people that only have a physical connection with your twin. They knew y'all didn't have a physical connection like that. So they figured they could try to hold on to this person physically because they don't have a spiritual connection with this person. I'm so done. Aries is here. You could be an Aries. One of these people could be an Aries. Yeah, love interest is here. They knew that you were this person's love interest. Financial lax is here. And then chaos and conflict. Somebody, these people that were trying to cause chaos and conflict for you, they're experiencing financial lax. Wow. For causing a lot of negativity. It's like they're surrounded by everything that they were trying to uh, place out to you and didn't know you were divinely protected. As you're in a whole nother cycle, you're not in a karmic cycle. Your twin needed to close that cycle out so they could uh, move forward. Transformation is here. Yeah, they needed to end something out, go through a go uh, through a rebirth, go through a transformation. Obstacles is here. And then destiny. Yeah, it's like these people literally wanted you to go through obstacles because you and this person have a destiny and a purpose together. They knew this person would go through a transformation. But they didn't want that person to. These are people that are envious and jealous of who you are spiritually to this person. And they didn't want it to manifest physically. They didn't know whatever happens in the spiritual realm manifests in this physical realm. Yeah. They didn't know that because they're not spiritually woke. Stalker is here. Karmic soulmate is here. Yeah, so one of these, one of the one of your twins' karmic soulmates it was stalking you, and they need to move on. Yeah, balance is here. It's like this person is someone that was just sitting back stalking you. They knew they were a karmic soulmate. And it's like this person need to move on, reevaluate is here, and then hit an enemy. Yeah, this person is sitting back. Yeah, hit an enemy, caught up, needy and codependent. They made this person reevaluate the situation if they were attached to this karmic soulmate. It's like as they were sitting back watching you, stalking you, 
This person realized this was a hidden enemy. They got caught up, and this is someone that's very needy and codependent. Why are these people so infatuated and obsessed with you if you don't mean anything to this person? Yeah. Regret is here. They're in regret. These are people that's going to be left emotional. They're going to be going through tower moments. Because they thought they had some type of control over this person. Yeah, now they're panicking. Because they're experiencing bad karma. They didn't expect that. Stability is here. And then leader. They didn't want this person to look at you as someone that was very confident. You're a leader. They didn't want this person to think you were someone that was stable. You had your own stability. They wanted this person to treat you as you were someone that was at the five of pentacles. The way that they should have been treating these people that they were attached to and detaching and moving forward, this is how this person was treating you. And they're in that energy around these people. They're attached to that type of energy. And this, this energy was being projected onto that person and they were trying to project it onto you and it backfired. Your twin was under judgment as they were attached to these people. Yeah, they realized they were only dimming their light. They don't want this person to grow. Yeah. It's like these people could have literally found out about this journey, found out that they weren't even attached to this person spiritually. So if this person moved forward, they knew that this person would not be looking back. This person would be detaching from toxicity and negativity. And they would be left at the five of pentacles, physically, mentally, and spiritually out in the cold, as they already knew they were low vibrational. But they didn't want this person to get to their ten of pentacles. Sagittarius is here. You could be a Sagittarius. One of these people could be a Sagittarius. They knew about this twin flame journey way before y'all did. You could be a Leo. One of these people could be a Leo. Yeah, you're someone that used your intuition. And that's why they wanted to cause some type of deception. It's like if they knew that you were woke, you were someone that was um, cleansing or healing or something like that, or you were spiritually woke, they tried to do something to pin you down at the Ten of Swords, multiple people, because they didn't want that person to get woke. They knew if this person got woke, they would be sailing away, being divinely guided by their ancestors to sail away from things that no longer serve purpose, and they would be fulfilling their divine connection, their purpose, and their destiny on top of getting spiritually woke in this physical realm. They didn't want that to happen. They figured they can blind this person from the truth. This person will ghost you or leave you out in the cold, have you at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take. Everything backfired. Yeah, lustful energy is here. And then boundaries. This person needed to set boundaries with whoever this person is that was in a lustful energy. You could have set boundaries with your twin because you knew they were in a lustful energy and they were at the two of swords blinding from the truth. And it's like now this person is in this energy where they just want to ghost everybody. And they don't even want people to know where they're going. They're, they just want to be happy away from all of these people. Yeah, you've changed. Yeah, it's like this person have changed. They could feel like you've changed. But whoever it is, who your twin is, they could be somebody that, sh that have changed. And a lot of people are hating on that. These are a bunch of haters that they were attached to. Karmic masculine is here. Whoever this karmic masculine is that was placed playing with spell work, they got exposed. Yeah, this person is a hater. This is one of their friends that was jealous. Jealous friends, and they're only trying to block this person's blessings. That's it. Set up. They could have set this person up and they didn't know. Communication is here. Enlightenment. So this person wants to communicate with you. This person has gotten enlightened. Gemini is here. You could be a Gemini. One of these people could be a Gemini. And then burdens is here. They're going through burdens. Yeah, because they knew about this divine connection. But they wanted to have this person stuck. It's like these are people that wanted to have this person stuck. They wanted to have you stuck or wanted you to feel stuck or left out in the cold or something like that. Or stand at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take. You would never move forward. This person would never move forward. All because they knew y'all shared the same soul. And they knew that y'all had a deep connection spiritually. But it wasn't, um, y'all didn't have a connection physically. These are people that physically had a connection with this person and didn't have one with them spiritually. So they knew if this person moved forward, you moved forward. Y'all would be moving on from these people. 
And these are people that only wanted to use this person. Yeah. You and this person have powerful ancestors. And they did not know. These are people that are very low vibrational. They don't have any ancestors. Yeah, Virgo was here. You could be a Virgo. One of these people could be a Virgo. They were trying to use children. A private investigator is involved. Taurus is here. You could be a Taurus. One of these people could be a Taurus. Cancer is here. You could be a Cancer. One of these people could be a Cancer. These are a bunch of people that were very immature. And that's how this person found out you were their twin flame. And they were going through blockages. Seven of Wands is here. They felt blocked off from you. These are people that lied to this person. Liar is here. You're someone that's very intuitive. Yeah. And then successful is here. They lied to this person because they were secretly competing and they knew that this person would be successful if you and this person came together. Secretly competing and they knew this person would be abundant. They would be starting over. I'm done. This is sad. Somebody's getting ready to go through a tower and they don't even know. They were too busy focused on stuff they shouldn't be worried about. All because they knew about the spiritual connection, but they were trying to hold on to this person physically. Because they're not attached to this person spiritually. Whatever manifests in the spiritual realm, it manifests in the physical realm. Yeah, trust is here. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Yeah, it's like this person needed to get woke in this Seven of Cups because this imagination is like being an illusion. They needed to get woke in this physical realm. And they didn't want this person to get woke because they knew this person would be moving forward physically, mentally, and spiritually. Yeah, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Imagination, I embrace, embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. They knew this person would be getting woke. They would no longer be physically, mentally, and spiritually out in the cold. They wouldn't be at a stalemate, two of wands, not knowing which direction to take. Yeah. Discipline is here. I can, I can accomplish whatever I set my mind to. This person will be able to accomplish whatever they set their mind to. They will be able to manifest, but they needed to discipline their self and block these people off. Distance themselves from these people. Surrender is here. I can release my need to control. These are people that literally will have to surrender because they never had control of, of this uh, divine connection physically or spiritually. No matter how much spell work they played with, no matter how much manipulation they were physically doing to this person to blind in front of the truth, it did not work. Yeah, blame is here in the reverse. These are people that did not want to accept responsibility for their well-being, the things that they did behind the scenes. So they're going to have to surrender in ways that they would least expect. Yeah, they didn't want to be blamed for something that they did. Yeah, courage is here. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. This person needed to gain their courage, gain their strength back. Because they hadn't been stripped. This person had to be manipulated and they would least expect that the people that were close to them were placing spell work over them to keep them confused. I mean, it's like whoever this person had to been attached to was toxic and they were playing with spell work like they knew about black magic and things like that to try to have this person physically blinded from the truth. Yeah, it's like they almost wanted this person to go backwards. They were trying to bind this person to them spiritually because they found out they didn't have a spiritual connection with this person. So they were playing with spell work to try to bind this person to them so this person will be stuck to them and they'll be able to hold on to this person. And it did not work. I'm so done. This is the saddest stuff I had in her. Yeah, perseverance is here. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Yeah, this person needed to do whatever they, you know, set their mind to. Whatever they wanted to do in their mind, they, they needed to believe in their self. Because whoever this person is or people that they were attached to was sick. Their mind is twisted. 
Yeah, gratitude is here. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Yeah. And worry is here. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Whoever these people are that were sitting back worried because they didn't have a, a connection with this person spiritually, they should have been doing the research on why. Why don't they have a spiritual connection? Because they're physically, mentally, and spiritually out in the cold, low vibrational, and they would least expect where they are in the spiritual realm as they didn't do their research. They were sitting back researching you and this person and trying to figure out how can they bind themselves to this person spiritually. I'm so done. Yeah, purpose is here. You're someone that's walking in your purpose. This person found out they had a purpose and they know what they're here to do. As you hadn't got woke first and you were walking in your purpose. Yeah, services here. I feel good when I can help others. You're someone that help a lot of people and you feel good when you help people. You don't care what people think about you. You don't sit back and let nobody run over you. You could have went through a lot of that in the past. Yeah, doubt is here. I release the need to know all of the answers. Yeah, it's like these are people that literally were trying to use this person. Hold on to this person. And this person won't be able to manifest anything around these uh, people. Get ready to say these snakes. Yeah, balance is here. This person needed to balance their self out because they wanted this person to doubt this connection. And they would just be, you know, blinded from the truth. Walking around at the seven of cups confused, feeling left out in the cold, standing at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take with these same people that are low vibrational, that they don't even have a connection with spiritually. These are people that are not a part of this, purpose, this person's purpose. They were just lessons that this person needed to learn so they can move forward. They needed to take their strength back and their courage back from these people that had them drained them. They needed to balance their self out. Balance is here. Yeah, balance out masculine and feminine energy. Love is here. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. This person needed to love their self. Because they don't know what love, they didn't know what love is. They weren't round, around loving beings. These are people that are devious, envious, and mentally unstable. Wow, loneliness is here. I know that I am never alone. And acceptance is here. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. As this person had been isolated away from you, they're, they're realizing that they are never alone and they were learning to accept the things that they cannot change around people. They could have wanted to, you know, change these people or were waiting for this person, saying this person to come around. No, you cannot change other people. You can only change yourself. <laughs> I know this person was not sitting around waiting on these people that was at the Five of Pentacles, at this Five of Pentacles and Two of Wands is popping out to me. This person could have been sitting back thinking that these people were going to change. No, you can only change yourself. And as you see stuff for what it is, you know, you can love people from a distance. It just is what it is. Regret is here. I know that I cannot change the past. They were in regret. They cannot change that people are sitting back did this out of envy. Yeah, they can't change that. These are people that have to change their stuff. They have to want to change. It's like this person wants to change and just want to ghost these people and get away. Yeah, in order to be happy. Happiness is here. Yeah, they realize by them being happy, they're on the right path. They haven't released all of this neg negativity, negative energy. I'm so... <laughs> These are people that were in fear of this person coming towards you because y'all have a spiritual connection and they didn't want y'all to have a physical connection. This is sad, sick, and sorry. Yeah, growth is here. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. That's all this person is thinking about is growth, expanding their consciousness and their awareness. And these people are sitting back secretly trying to compete with you because you and this person have a, a connection spiritually and they're at the five of pentacles. No matter how much they try to compete with you, copy you, or whatever they were trying to do, they're still at the five of pentacles and at a two of one stalemate not knowing which direction to take. I'm so done. Yeah, and sitting back under judgment the entire time, receiving karma. They were keeping their self blocked off to keep receiving karma and being under judgment. That's it. I'm so done. Yeah, grief is here. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. 
Yeah, and then guilt is here. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Yeah, they needed to release whatever beliefs that they were believing in this physical realm because it doesn't assist with them spiritually. So they could spiritually evolve in this physical realm. They have a purpose here on earth. These are people that did not want this person to believe in that. They wanted this person to doubt their destiny and their purpose. Yeah, block off their intuition, not listen to their ancestors, not use their own intuition, their own aspect, creative aspect of their mind. So they could grow. They want this person to be in grief. They want this person to continue to take losses and feel lost. Back at a stalemate, two of ones, not knowing which direction it takes. I'm done. Honesty is here. I can't, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. This person needed to be honest with their self. And they realize they can't trust nobody that's around them. Yeah, peace is here. That's all this person is thinking about is peace. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. Yeah, that's all this person is thinking about is being at peace and being happy. And that's it. And that's what this person should be thinking about. Abundance is here. Starting over. Something new than what they're used to going through. A never ending cycle. The same thing over and over again and getting the same results. I'm done. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. This person realized in order to have abundance, they needed to release negative energy and focus on the lighter side of life. Humor is here. Focus on whatever it is that makes them happy. Yeah, because they wanted this person to deny this connection because they were envious of it. They knew once this person got woke in this physical realm, they will be six of swords in, sailing away from things that no longer serve purpose. They will be on the cherry after gaining truth and clarity, and they wouldn't be able to hold on to this person. It's like this person needed to deny these people and they did not know. People that they had been attached to their whole life that were wolf and sheep clothing. 